Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So I am going to just go through all my kits that I have. I did talk a little bit about this in my floss tube. And uh, I mean, one reason for doing this is simply because first of all, for myself, I do need to just go through. I did say that I wanted to start uh, at least one more dimensions kit and then it just occurred to me that I need to go through and just check what I have maybe there are some other kits that I would like to start um, and I mean I have a few not like tons and tons of them but I do have a few I was fortunate enough to have a job a little a few years ago that uh, paid I would say quite well so I did have some spare money to uh, buy kits over a, a period of a few uh, years I don't remember exactly how many years but yeah so I have accumulated a few kits um, it's <laughs> I would say it's not the biggest stash but it's not the smallest I think I'm somewhere in between uh, it is definitely definitely more than I need but it's not too much because there's still several kits that I want that I have on my wish list so I don't know but just for myself just go through and see what I have in my stash and uh, yeah I'm just gonna jump right in and see where we end up. So the first one I want to show you is this one. Uh, this was uh, a purchase. I made it quite a long time ago, I think. And I just actually forgotten all about this. So I'm happy to rediscover it again. I recently saw someone on FlossTube and I'm sorry, I don't remember I don't remember your name I'm so sorry but uh, there is at least well there's a few philosophers I think who have done this or who are um, working on it right now so yeah this could be an option actually to get started fairly soon red mermaid it's called DMC cross stitch kits um made in uh, estonia uh, the ada is 14 count ada and it's either is it black or is it really dark blue i can't tell uh, these are the colors and yeah it looks beautiful so this is definitely an option uh, for me to start quite soon then I have uh, this one this is more of a Christmassy kit also I bought long long time ago I'm not sure when but this is one of uh, my first Christmas kits that I bought on Etsy it is super cute I think uh, Hang on, let me see. This is a Russian kit. And does it say? Oh, here. There's a little bit of beads in here, I think. Color chart, threads, Ada fabric, 18 count, I think. Beads and a needle is included in this kit. So like I said, I bought this, oops, sorry, I hit the camera. Uh, so I bought this a really long time ago and I just haven't gotten around to start stitching on it, even though I do like it a lot. So maybe, no, well, okay, no. Um, I don't think I will start this this year. <laughs> I don't think so, but who knows? I You can always, you know, change your mind. Okay, so here's another uh, Camellias in Bamboo Grove. 
uh, yeah, Swigart cotton threads, 14 colors. This is also a Russian kit. This is also bought like a very long time ago. Yeah, Ada and the colors. I bought this fairly early on, I think, in my cross stitching kit uh, career, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, so I really wasn't sure what I would like to stitch and I did buy this one because it's not full coverage uh, But then I never sort of got around to start it It is it, it is a uh, it is a pretty pretty uh, project, but um, yeah I'm gonna hang on for this for a little while longer Okay, so this is another uh, another is it Russian too probably I can't read it anyways <laughs> another one that I bought a long long time ago um, 60 well yeah no kind of a long time ago uh, this was definitely before everything uh, 16 count Ada structure organizer needle yeah it has everything you need of course I think I this is this is uh, a, a project that I really want to stitch but I don't think I will start this before I end th the European town that I'm working on right now so uh, again this is um, a kit that I'm glad that I have in my stash oh look I, I hadn't seen that before it's like a sky lift or something yeah okay so um yeah i'll keep this in my stash i'll pick it up whenever i get to finish uh, the european town one okay okay i have Hmm, interesting. Again, I have actually almost forgotten I had this. This is on 14 count Ada. This is a very pretty, pretty project. It's a pretty kit. Nova Sloboda. Sloboda? Sloboda. I don't know. It's uh, from uh, Ukraine, I think. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we have a lot of nice projects, but I've forgotten, but I think I have more from this company, Hello. which some of them are actually, this is uh, from the same company, and this is a beaded uh, beads. Yeah, that's a beaded project. Again, I thought it was really pretty. I thought that this would be uh, a great project to start uh, testing out how to bead. Uh, never <laughs> cutting around to try it. Yeah, from the Ukraine. Um, printed pattern, beads, needle threads for bead embroidery yeah so it's all there so this is actually hmm yeah yeah that might be fun to try because I'm not very experienced in beading uh, and yeah this would be fun to try out I also have what is this is this also no this is no beads but it's the same company uh, flowers motif you're gonna notice I really enjoy uh, stitching flowers so there's a lot of flower motifs in this um, yeah this is uh, just thread no beads 16 count Ada yeah, I like that. That's a pretty one. 
and then I have another bead <laughs> project. Oh geez, I actually want to turn on the bead thing. Hang on. Uh, okay, so this, this is another project from the same company with beads in in it. Interesting. So I did order it. I haven't looked at this at all, I think. Which is not good. <laughs> Uh, shame on me. Um, hmm, interesting. Printed pattern, beads, yeah, thread for bead embroidery, yeah, everything like that. Hmm, I'm really curious. I don't think this is a full coverage. I think this is um, just the details, the flowers, and the fringe here uh, are the parts. And these, of course, are the parts you're supposed to embroider. I'm actually a little bit curious about the... Okay, I might regret this. Sorry about the noise, but I really want to check this one out because I haven't before. Yeah, like I said, I don't think it's it's not full coverage. It's just partially. So you have the beads uh, marked out here on a printed ca uh, canvas. Hmm. So I'm not really sure if this is my cup of tea. I do like the image. Um, oops. Yeah, this is a, I don't know if you can see that, the needle for the beads. Hmm. Interesting. This is something that I would really want to have a go at. Because there is no stitching, as you can see, on these printed uh, fabrics. Um, yeah, hmm, interesting. So this also tells me that I ordered this a really long time ago because I probably would not have ordered it today. Uh, I don't, it's not, I mean, I would like to try um, to bead <laughs> or do uh, projects with beads more, of course, but I would prefer it if I also got to stitch the back background so I'm not sure if I ever gonna pick this project up but then as you know like in when you start stitching in the beginning you sort of when you don't really know your way and when you don't really uh, understand that you really need <laughs> to read uh, carefully uh, then I mean and there, there's nothing wrong with this project don't get me wrong uh, there's um don't uh, yeah it's it's a beautiful and really nice kit I would just have preferred preferred it to be full coverage and to have like uh, stitch uh, to stitch the background as I said so that's the only thing yeah okay interesting interesting well, now I know I have it, so I need to think a little bit about what to do with this kit. I might actually, if I'm not going to stitch this myself, I might want to give it away at some point. But we'll see. Okay, I will do like this so you don't have to deal with all the noise. Okay, so let me check here if I have something else to show you. I don't think so. Not in this box. I have... Um, okay, let's move on to the other box. I have a couple of more bead projects. Uh, and when I ordered these, these I actually sort of knew were partial, but I didn't mind because they are... Again, Christmas inspired. I like Christmas motifs too. And I bought, there were two. And as I remember when I bought them, they were not too expensive actually. So, and, and I liked them and I wanted to try out beading. So again, still haven't gotten around to it, as you can see, all the beads. It's a really nice kit though. Yeah, stupid. I should th these ones. I should actually do hmm, at some point. Hmm, nice beads. Yeah. 
so we'll see. Yeah, it's good to do these stash dives sometimes and just go through whatever kits you have. Okay, let's move on to the next drawer here. And here comes my dimensions kit. I don't have like that many, but again, flowers. Uh, this one, I actually, yeah, I remember buying this. I bought this, uh, I ordered it on Etsy, I think from an American store. Because I saw it and at the time when I was hunting for this one, I don't know, maybe it was just temporary, but it was hard to get your hands on this and also a bit expensive with um, the shipping fees and all that. And I, as I remember, this was not too bad, even though it shipped from the US to Sweden. Uh, but I'm really happy that I could get my hands on this one. So Dimensions Go Collection. And yeah, look at the colors. It's an 18 count Ada beige. And it's uh, the threads are sorted. And this is just ready to go. Yeah, this is parrot tulips it's called. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I really like that one. Um, oops, okay. So this is, um, I think, could this be eBay? Probably. Uh, it's a used one, or used one. It's a yeah, secondhand one, but everything is there. Um, and um, the kit is complete, but they wrapped it in an extra plastic bag because it was partially partially already torn and open. I don't mind as long as everything is in there, then that's fine. And it's this one, Oriental Splendor. I think you can still get your hands on this for a decent price, but this was, again, I don't remember how much it was, but as I said, I think it was not too much because because uh, um, uh, it's ripped. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I think I got it for a bit cheaper. I think it's a beautiful picture and uh, again, one that I really, really want to stitch. And then of course, this one, Soul of the Rose. This is also, uh, this one I actually got not too long ago, but it's one that I've been looking at. I've been watching uh, other floss tubers stitch on this uh, and uh, yeah uh, it's been on the wish list for quite some time so I finally gave in and bought it for like a year two years ago I think or something like that yeah it's a beautiful beautiful kit again 18 count this is a uh, ivory Ada pre-sorted threads yeah Yeah, I also, I mean, I love the uh, the pre raphael It's the water house in particular is uh, a favorite. Another lady gold collection. Lady, a summer stroll. Again, I think this was an eBay purchase. And uh, again, I don't remember how much it cost, but I knew that I was on a bit of a lookout for this one. Um, just to, um, not only to get a hold of it, but uh, I mean, you, it's still out there, so there's no problem getting a hold of it. But the price and then together with the shipping fees, you sort of have to do the math a little bit. And um, yeah, I think I got it for, I would say like normal price for a gold collection. And I managed to get it for, with a shipping fee from, I think the UK, not too expensive. So I'm happy about that. I c you can see this is uh, one of the older kits. So the, uh, the threads aren't sorted. So <laughs> that will be fun. Uh, there are some unusual threads like yarn more uh, in this one so that will also be a bit fun to try out 
another uh, second hand, I would say, gold collection, Portrait of Elegance. This is also an older one with all the threads. Uh, there is a metallic thread. There are a little bit of beads in, in this kit too. They did send away some gloss cards here. So yeah. Also purchased from, I think this was, no, this was from, this was from uh, Etsy, I think, but they did sell it as a, a like a second hand because it is open. Uh, I didn't open this, it was already open, but everything is in it. Um, so yeah, happy about that too. So again, I don't really remember uh, how much it cost. Uh, so be really excited to start that. And I'm so no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, not everything is in here. I think that the fabric is missing, which is totally fine. I knew that when I bought it. So it was definitely cheaper. Uh, so that was not a surprise. I knew that that was going to happen, but that is also why it was so affordable. Uh, and as long as you get the chart and that's uh, for me the floss, then I'm happy. And I have the Ada at home, so that is fine. I don't need the, uh, I, and I can also buy Ada really cheap so and easy. So that's not, that's not the problem. So I'm super happy with this purchase. Um, I'm just gonna rearrange a bit. And more flowers. Uh, this, as I think this is beautiful and you can see it everywhere. It's easy to get a hold on. Uh, the Tulip Trio. I think this is super beautiful. And as I said, I love stitching flowers and ladies. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that is most of my my pieces are flowers and ladies. Some of them are landscapes or cityscapes. I have, well, cityscapes, I have uh, quite a few on my wish list and I just never get around to buying them because I find other stuff that I prefer more. So anyways, that's another issue. Um, hang on, I showed this, I showed that. And I have another lady in her garden, I think. You will have seen this one too. This is also so pretty. Specialty threads, right? And yeah, plenty of threads. Super nice colors. Pre sorted. Yeah, we like that. Ivory 18 count Ada. Yeah, probably Etsy, I would say. I shop around a lot of Etsy and then I only have three more dimensions kit I think. Hang on. I'm just gonna move this to the side. And there we go. So I have the wreath of all seasons. This is oh this is beautiful. Actually, this might be one that I would want to start. This is super nice. I really, really like this. 18 count Ada, but I also really, really like this one, as you might, uh, as you saw. Uh, these are the hummingbirds and super, super pretty, super nice. Hmm, hang on. Yeah, this is also 18 count, Ivory Ada, and then there is another one, the Roses one. Also super pretty. God, I love these. Mm -mm. There is some metallic thread in this one. 28 count, Beige, Ada, yeah, hmm, interesting. And look at these colors, the pinks and the, oh yeah, super pretty. 
So yeah, um, maybe one of these. Maybe this one. I really like that one. This could be a contender too. So I have the mermaid. I have this one that I might want to start. Okay. And I'm actually just going to continue on because I have um, my Riolis kits and I have a few Moreka kits. Uh, and uh, so this might be a little bit of a, it's not too long the video, I think, but yeah, just get on with it since I, you know, since I have all the kits right here. Okay. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is a nice one. This is from Riolis. This is one of their premium kits. This artwork from uh, Muka. Muka. I don't know how to pronounce it. But again, really love it. 18 count. Colored Smogot Ada fabric. Anchor stranded cotton threads. So when it comes to the premium realist kits, you do get uh, anchor thread, anchor cotton thread. I have one more of their premium kits, which is uh, this one. Uh, it's the girl with the pearl earring. And again, I really, really like this. I think it's a good Good rendering, good charting. Uh, 14 count, Ada. This is from, is it Latvia, I think? Yeah. So this is also one that I actually saved up a bit for. Uh, I bought it uh, three years ago, I th no, also two years ago. And as you can see, it comes on these type of floss cards. This is Black Adam, so you don't stitch the background on this one. And as you can see, this is Anchor Cotton Thread. So I'm yeah looking forward to stitching on this one. I have some more of the smaller. Hang on. On the smaller realist. like this one so these are the more affordable ones they are a bit cheaper and definitely smaller so much faster to stitch this is a kitten on the book which i thought was super cute and again a fun uh, fun and quick stitch uh, this is the wool acrylic blended thread so it's it's special it's not um it has its challenges to stitch with this. I don't mind it. It's not like I don't love it as much as stitching with DMC, but I don't mind it. Uh, and as I said, when you when uh, for me at least, when you're stitching on a smaller project, this is totally fine. And we have a lot of cute and and uh, budget friendly, I would say, kits. So that's the kitten. Here are the funny rabbits. Also, I think they are so cute. I like this image a lot. Also on the smaller side, also with the wool acrylic blended threads, 14 count. So I got Ada. Yeah, and as you can see, they have a lot of these cutesy animal ones uh, that I really enjoy. Oops, sorry. Here's the Lotus Field. They have a series of these, I think, with three other that is sort of companion pieces to this one. But I, I just bought the one. I like this one uh, the best. This is uh, a little bit, um, I wouldn't say bigger, but yeah, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more thread in this. And this is actually as, hmm. Interesting. This is not the um, wool thread. 
Hmm. Okay, I don't mind that. That's a, I think it's not 100% cotton, or maybe it could be a cotton blend, this one. Uh, but like I said, I don't mind it. Hmm, this might be quite, yeah, as you can see, there are several uh, uh, companion pieces to this one that you could also purchase. And they, I think these are a bit smaller, but I'm not sure. And this one, girl with uh, ducklings. I really also like, so cute. Super cute. And there's a little bit of ribbon in there. This is the wool acrylic blend. And yeah, they do have companion pieces. They have like series, a lot of them. So you, I'm sure you can, if you like Riolas, if you can get used to or handle the wool acrylic thread. And then there is so much to choose from. And the last Riolis kit that I have are the squirrels. And I do, uh, and I also, because I like the kits, uh, also because um, they are so good with the expressions uh, in the animal faces and stuff like that. Like with them, um, I did stitch the and complete uh, the hedgehogs. And they do get like the small details right with expression in their face and in their eyes. So yeah, I find these really enjoyable to stitch. Uh, so that is my Riolis kits that I have. Uh, I will go on and uh, how long is the video? Yeah, no, I'll just go on and show you. I have a few kits from Mareka, or some people pronounce it Mareshka. I don't know which one is the correct one, but here we go. Again, I'm a big fan of Mukha or Muk Mukha or whatever, however you. And I think this one I actually bought as uh, uh, both together, like they came um, as companion pieces. So you bought them uh, to a kind of decent price. You can buy them just, you know, one, one by one, also separate if you prefer, prefer but I knew I wanted them both. Uh, And the Mareshka kit or Marika, they have the, yeah, the flash cards like this. This is Ada. This is made in Poland. DMC threads. 16 count Ada. Yeah. So these also I'm looking forward to stitch. Fairly soon. Ooh, I, yeah. I like the details in these. More flowers, because I like flowers. This is also nice, super pretty. Lush peonies. Some Ada. The flat cars, these are the colors. Mm, yeah, pretty. And there are more flowers. Oh, jeez, I have so many flowers. People, oh my god. Okay, here are the poppies. Actually, every time I'm on Etsy and I come across this uh, this kit, I'm like, oh, I want those. And then I have to remind myself, you already have this kit, so you don't have to buy it again. Uh, but yeah, this this is really one that I'm drawn to. Uh, I always was. I did put it on my wish list, and um, yeah, I did get it. And like I said, every time I see it on Etsy, I go gaga all over again. Uh, mm, so nice. Yeah. 
so 16 count or even with 32 count i think this is 32 count even with actually i don't mind so hmm this beautiful i also have the pans in waltz this is also very very pretty uh, uh the pansies i know that my when we used to live in a house when when we were kids and my mom really really loved pansies i know she uh, as soon as she could she went to the store and she bought so many and we had to help her then plant them in the garden uh, so this is um yeah this is um this reminds me of when i was a kid helping my mom plant the pansies mm, yeah this is pretty and then this one this one i actually saw one of the other floss tubers oh what's her name is it either it's no it's not okay i'm not gonna name her because i'm not sure which one it was but i did see them stitch on this and i thought it was so beautiful and also a bit unusual with them uh with the dill sort of flowers and and herby and stuff uh, this one is the even weave version it also has um yeah because america they they can come with either ada or even weave so you can normally choose which one you want uh, i normally go for ada unless the ada is unless it's sold out then i go for the even weave because i like both uh, and yeah so that's my last mareika kit um i'm just gonna do oops <laughs> gonna do that i have a few kits from luca s again more flowers like i said i'm flower crazy um yeah okay so look at this really really beautiful roses and i think this is a full coverage this though is not and this was actually i think my first ever luca s kit that i bought so i've had this in my stash for several several years uh, again in the beginning i mean i do think it's a pretty a super pretty um, image uh, but it's as you can see it's a partial it's not full coverage and uh, i mean i am getting into like sampler stuff uh, and this just i just haven't gotten around to it because it's not a sampler and it's not full coverage so i don't know what it is really i like the image though so i should complete it i mean it's just um full crosses and um back stitching and it's this one is just full crosses because it's it's uh, full coverage hmm nice okay oh look at the colors yeah look at these colors in particular ah uh, super pretty super pretty colors the pinks and the greens oh nice yeah maybe i should just do it since i've had it for so long also and it's a bit nostalgic i i felt super super ambitious when i bought this i remember oh yeah the good old days hmm yeah it's funny i almost forgotten about that one okay so uh i have the magnolia i have both maybe there are more companion pieces to the Magno in the magnolia series um, um look at this uh, black ada So I have that one, full crosses only, and then this one, which I also found was very, very pretty. Really like this one too. Look at those really earthy tones. 
um, the browns, the muted greens. Yeah, I like that one a lot. But then again, you know, it. Uh, I I am definitely gonna stitch these, but uh, sometimes you know with a black fabric. Um, hmm, yeah, you just need to be ready and motivated for it. Okay. Yes, or Lucas. Again, I bought, I think, the fruit ones. Yeah, I bought them also um, shortly after I bought the, the one with the bird and the flowers on. Again, not really knowing what I would prefer or not prefer. But I do like them. They're beautiful, beautiful uh, images with, as you can see, beautiful color schemes. Um, yeah. Oh, well, I have to get around to stitching these two. Because they're not full coverage, they're not too big. This could be easily easy to finish in a reasonable amount of time. So those are the apples. These are the tangerines, or I think, yeah. Still like a tangerines, yeah. Again, super cute. <laughs> nice bright colors I like that the oranges oh that's nice okay and the berries red currants I like that there's a little bit of but butterfly or moth there also really pretty nice yeah, nice summer, summer-like colors. And then there are some more flowers, of course. A summer bouquet. That one and this one. Flowers with a bird. And then, of, of course, I have the kits, but I showed them in the haul that I bought right now, like the um, uh, the Christmassy stuff, the Letty Stitch Christmas, uh, and uh, the Dimensions Gold also Christmas kits. Uh, but like I said, I showed them just recently in my floss tube. I actually have another project. Hmm. This is not cross stitching, but I'm just going to show it because I saw it right now. Again, Christmas. I, I love Christmas stuff, unless you missed that. Uh, this is the big one, and it's, as you can see, more embroidery. I have to turn it that way. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this is a tablecloth. That would be a nice project to pick up. I have it. The fabric is actually really nice. Um, it has the, uh, the pattern or everything is on the fabric already so you just have to stitch it. There's some back stitching, there's some, I don't know what you call them in English, um, but these are, this is not cross stitch but it's uh, embroidery which I also enjoy. I did a lot of embroidery before. Uh, starting uh, crossing over more to uh, uh, cross stitching and I also have this one this is ooh, one of my more um, ambitious beaded cross stitch <sighs> and why I bought it don't ask me I just thought that I would uh, be the master of cross stitch bead I, I don't know but I did buy it because I thought it was beautiful this is actually a full coverage uh, bead cross stitch I think it's gorgeous the image is gorgeous I think you can get this image as just cross stitch pattern or a chart but this is with just beads and I'm not gonna open it because then everything is just gonna fall out but this it's jam-packed with beads. It was super heavy. It costs a lot to ship um, because, you know, all the beads. Yeah, there are so many bags in there. 
Um, so yeah, this will be interesting to pick up. I really, really would like to uh, to do to complete this because I think it's beautiful. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It also, um, I have to maybe find a way to, um, because it takes up a little bit more space with the beads, because you have to have the, not only the, the uh, I mean, you don't have all the floss, but it's more precarious to sort of balance the beads. If you have them in a box, you can't really just put them anywhere. They have to be stable, so you don't, so everything just don't, fall on the floor because that would be disastrous um so it's a it just for me in my mind it would take just a little bit more care because there is since there's also so many uh it would be different when you do like beads on uh, a cross stitch kit as embellishments because then you don't have like thousands and thousands of beads like you do would do on this this project so uh, I just have to find a way also to wrap my mind around how to how to work out the more practical details. Anyways, um, I have yeah no this is I think this is it uh, again like I said the kits that I bought. If you want to check them out, check out my haul video. And right now I'm just going to have to hmm, go through all this. It was really nice actually to film this video. So I am grateful uh, if you had the energy to stay all the way. Uh, this was very good for me to just um, remind myself what I have. Some of these were, like I said, I almost forgot that I had them. So I'm glad that I got to do this and I'm glad I got to do this on camera. Now I just need to decide uh, for my next new start. If it's gonna be the mermaid or actually maybe, maybe I should start this one. Like I said, this is my very first Lucas that I've ever bought. It's been lying and waiting patiently in my, in my stash, waiting, so. Yeah. Okay, gonna have a think, a ponder about this one. Hmm. So, what do you think? I mean, this one is pretty. The red hair, the mermaid tail. Or this one, I mean, this is so summery. I would say that this is more my uh, like this is more my style as I think you saw from all the kits now like the, with the flowers and stuff this one is a bit more unusual for me kind of and kind of not but I yeah I think uh, I think um, it's gonna be one of these two I mean there's nothing that said that I can't start them both <laughs> I just yeah which one am I going to start first? Anyways, enough. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a really, really good summer and happy stitching. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye.